75 lines for liberation. Part one. In 1942, with life on the island in a desolate way, three best mates headed to the edge of a bay with the dream of getting away. They hoped they'd together escape and help those who were tethered to stay. It was the 2nd of May. Their names were Dennis, Peter and Morris. Three teens with fortified hearts of promise, bonds of friendship that could crack concrete. The sea at Green Island is history. Meaning that it churns with turbulence and rocky constellations patterned with victories and defeats. Although night was dark, no ideology can ever occupy the stars. So light firing far distant and free illuminated the path down to the white sand of the beach. How cold, how cold was the water as they waded to the knee? How loyally silent was the wood of the small boat or did it floorboard creak? Did the breeze turn blind eyes or speak? Were the boys awake to the dangers of the deep? But they must have begun to dream A mile off the shore, rowing toward liberation With the maps they had drawn They beachcombed details to help the Allies win the war They must have begun to dream that they would make it Hearts becoming calmer and wing beats soaring And warm currents, souls lifting like anchors Chains are mooring from prison piers Was the night cold enough to sting with tears? Was the wind crisp, fierce? Did they shiver and cling as they steered a journey through the minefield rocks? Each one deadly and ready to blow did they know? Part two. Dennis is in the water. I'm trying to get his hand, but his fingers slip through mine like poured sand. It happened quick and the boat is a splinter now. The ocean is winter now and there's cold in my lungs. We're going under now and the waves interrogate. Dennis can't answer, he lashes his tongue. I can't hear the scream and I can't see Morris. Dennis looks silver underwater ghostly shimmer of a comet it happened quick and all hope is drowning now the ocean surrounding now when there's death in the air dennis is sinking now the seabed a prison camp his eyes are barbed wire and they catch mine in despair i tread water morris is there i tread water morris is alive i tread water dennis has died i tread water we swim with nowhere to swim we swim back now the walls are tipped with soldiers. How did they know? I don't know. But we're coughed up and spluttered to a van. Time accelerates and we are driftwood on tidal flow. The Gestapo question us in France. Then we're sent into a camp, concentrated with the damned. It's 1943. Whitlitch prison in Germany now, concentrated in the damp. Morris has trouble breathing, dies of tuberculosis and we are split from our pair. So it's just me and Peter grieving. But time exhales, and the war loosens its chokehold. I breathe out. It's 1995. Where is Morris? I travel to a German war grave and I rescue him. He is 19. But at long last, I am a lifeguard. Still. Taking his hand to save him. From the deep. Part three. The world's new millennium was in its infancy. I was growing up in Jersey, anchored in the shadow of France. There, me and two friends used to cycle rusty bikes to Green Island. Teenagers, momentarily liberated from the demands of our parents. 
In the breezy six week summers that punctuated our school sentences, we would swim out to the island. Getting there and clambering ashore, we'd breathe out with our back flattening the grass. The sun dried us. The crystallizing salt made maps and ridges of our skin. We were free. Peter Hassel, Dennis Audrain, and Morris Gold, aged 15, 16, and 17, attempted to escape the occupation carrying plans of island fortifications to aid the Allies. The boat was swamped. Dennis drowned and is buried in St. Saviour's Cemetery. Morris and Peter were captured and deported to SS camps in Germany. Morris died in 1943 and his remains were reinterred in the Howard Davis Park in 1997. Peter died in 1998. His ashes are scattered nearby, united again. It is 2019. I read this plaque at Green Island and an elderly couple read it after me. How sad they say in deep grave voices. They were just trying to escape the war. Some minutes later, sitting with my baby daughter watching the sea, I see the couple seat themselves nearby, begin turning the pages of the sun. I hear them say, that's all we need. More migrants in France, soon they'll try to boat it to Jersey. Are they trying to re-fortify the island against who they see as invaders? The walls they build are imaginary but cement. I want to tell them that teenagers in small boats are just trying to uh, escape the war. Not even teenagers. Island Curdy was three when his boat was swamped. So what is liberation really? What is freedom if it only belongs to a few? Liberation must outlive one day or let the memory of the day be sullied. Liberation will sink if we remain insular. Liberation will sink if we do not look into the depths of history and learn. Imagine that it is your friend drowning. And take their hand.